we're back. We're black and curious. I'm Kendra. <laughs> hey, y'all. It is Deja. It is a whole lot going on here. Almost. <laughs> if you've never been here before, welcome. We do a cross section of pop culture in real life. And in today's episode, we're doing pop culture. Um, if that sounds interesting to you, we're here multiple times a week. And um, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, let's go on to this. Shout out to our new friends. Oh yes, and shout out to the newbies. Thank you guys for following us and (laughs) subscribing to the channel. Um, we love you. Chaos, who child? Chaos going through it. Chaos and confusion. Okay, down to Diddy's houses. They were raided, and now like there's just so much information coming out all the time. It's like a never-ending faucet of information coming out about Diddy all the time at this point. Hello? And mm. and with all the allegations that have been coming out and people, all the things, period, saying all the stuff that has happened at the hands of him, it's about damn time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this wow. Is like, a hell of yesterday a and this is an aside it's not even on our thing but yesterday i was on tiktok and this um guy was quoting he was reading uh lyrics from Nas's album from the 90s and it was literally a song and or a whole like stanza in there where he talked about what happened what diddy did and what happened to shine as to why shine went away for the time that he did and like basically the guy was like the thing that is Nas, Nas been told us who this nigga was and what nobody paying him no attention. It's like all these pieces are coming together for a puzzle. And like every, because he has such a long history of stuff and he's been in our consciousness for so long as an entity, mm-hmm. there is much, much material. <laughs> so It is a lot. It Muchy, feels like there's like to say there's <laughs> lyrics, there's interviews coming out that and not even new interviews, like interviews that are resurfacing is like Mace told us from the 90s. Nas told us this person told us this person told us and it's just like constant, constant, constant. Yeah, but the thing is, like they all of the people who told us got buried under the Diddy machine. Yeah, because in the 90s and the early 2000s, you could he was untouchable. And the funny thing is, like, everybody has always made jokes about how he was untouchable. Like, even with his contracts, and he was known for taking, having these extreme contracts and taking advantage of his artists and, like, not giving them proper funds after they've done all this work. And even still, like, he gave them back their masters, but after he's already sampled the hell out of them. So it's like, what value are they anymore? So it's like... And let's keep it a stack. And this is alleged from Deja, okay? Alleged, alleged, alleged. Was- Listen, I think that he was trying to get in people's good graces. Oh yeah, so they wouldn't tell the world about the the that he hundred percent, hundred percent. Because even at the time, a lot of people were like, Mm-mm, "He ain't doing this for nothing. He not doing it for nothing." Hello, and because <laughs> for that to happen, what two years ago, and now this, like like I said, or we said, however long ago when we first started talking about the Diddy debacles of it all, because that's basically what this is. What is this like? Part three, four. Like and they're gonna it's gonna be more of them too. Coming. It's gonna be more of them too because what? Wow. And Sir. and to know that that the um the guy that brought that's the basically that all this new stuff is coming from, um they amended the lawsuit and added more details to it. My God! And that happened at around the same time that the things was raided la- last week. Like mm. child. Mm. I guess my man said, y'all not going to call me un- not credible. Here goes some more information that I didn't release the first time. And in that new batch of shit that he put out, Cu- uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. got caught up in it with his handsy drunk ass. It, like, like, it's what just is going best. on? But another hip-hop personality, Torre, he's, he was on BET back in the 90s. I think he wrote for um, what was the hip-hop magazine? Like Double XL? Oh my God. Or the Source? or double, He wrote for Double XL, but he okay. also wrote for Vibe too. Okay. He's a writer, okay. hip hop yeah. writer. Hmm? So he does, he sits down and does an interview. I can't remember who he was talking to. I don't know if it was Joy Ann Reed or somebody else. Either way, he's having this conversation with them on air. Like this is a full on interview. <clears> and he talks about how, 
years ago he um had his nephew to go and work he had diddy to hire his nephew as an intern and basically it the nephew was propositioned that either you come home with me tonight or your in, your, your internship is null and void it ends at this point and so the internship ended and Tori went on to say that basically for years he didn't know the extent of it he i guess he only just now found out what all had happened as to why the nephew was like mm -mm, yeah i'm not gonna do that i'm mm -hmm. like like really the nigga that i want to hear from is farnsworth bentley yeah he knows he got this the, the bodies honestly because he was around at the time where they was doing walking to juniors from from um where the cheese Brooklyn, cake. wherever the hell they was at to mm -hmm. get cheesecake in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. Mm -hmm. He was the one doing the house managing foolishness. Yeah, yeah. For sure. He knows where Yeah. He knows where the shit is. In the um, midst of all of the oh, I was right. He was on with Joy and Reed. Okay. So that yeah, I was right. Um and so in <laughs> so many things so it's it's like so many things um they have uh, the lawsuit or i guess this is a civil lawsuit has also said that young miami was being paid for sex work mm -hmm. in which mm -hmm. i i was like duh allegedly i was just like mm -hmm. as someone who enjoys it a city girl lyric, i want to say it also called out ba um 50 cents baby mama mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. being a, an alleged sex worker I'm like, what is what is going on? But I was like, after after hearing that allegation, I was like, uh, as a person who has listened to a fair share of City Girls, I was like, duh. We knew <laughs> like, that already, girl. <laughs> Why else would she be there? That's <laughs> I was like, um, okay. I mean, she has yeah. fought herself denying the allegations, but I was like, girl, you could have just sat there and ate your food because we don't believe no denial. Everybody is just like, yeah, duh. Like she's a young. You are a city girl. She's young. <laughs> she's a city girl. This is what y'all be talking about. We did, we would expect nothing less from you. Like literally in my group chats, sometimes we're just like, take his money. Like you're there, might as well <laughs> spend his money. Spend his money. Get paid for your time. Chanel girl. bags. Go Chanel. Go to the Chanel store. Like you might as well get Buy it up, honey. Things. Get the things. Like we knew what she was there for, so I don't know what the big deal that was about. But yeah, she was implicated in the Child. lawsuit. Is that she was getting a stipend to basically be on call for him? And I was like, to mm -hmm. so, to be yeah. carrying him parent to carry his paraphernalia. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, something else that I, that I did not add to this outline, but this person is up here. I'll be sure also has come out and said that his documentary is soon coming as to what all happened to him. Cause I don't know if y'all noticed, but a couple of months ago or sometime last year, my man was on his deathbed in a coma. He don't even look like the same person. He was. And he also like did some messy stuff about like, come on home, son. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what, what I put on the outline. Yeah talking to his son with Kim Porter and it was I won't hold you it was always confusing to me years ago when we first were introduced to like all of Diddy's children mm -hmm. to look at Quincy he looked just like I'll be sure and I'm like is he sure that that's his child that mm -hmm. can't be his child he looked like I'll be sure like yeah, well it was never said that it was his child <laughs> it wasn't sure nobody ever said it was Diddy's child he, he just, always, did he always said that that was his child not biological he, i think it was well known that that was not that she brought him into the relationship she brought quincy into the relationship i think that i was, mean i got it now girl but but back in the day when quincy was what, a teenager but once when we were introduced to him it was not clear i think i always knew i thought it was always pretty clear that that was his stepson but yeah, I'll be sure pinned a tweet to Quincy stating, come home, the door is wide open. You're safe here, son. I love you, pops. You're biological. Oh, boy. Girl, Feels the drama. Me. The drama. Okay, so. They done, they, done, um, they done found Russell Simmons. So Diddy can't even go over <laughs> there. in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> they done sent the, the, uh, the processing man to Bali. He Shout out to uh, Metro Adlib, who's one of my favorite people on twitter she basically said that the lawyer like served him mm. in bali or found him in bali and what that is going to do is force him to come back to the states to defend his property mm -hmm. he's either going to get a default judgment 
which will be able to attach to some property or money or whatever that he has here. Or he's going to have to come. And in then by him coming, he's going to end up getting served for all of the criminal behavior he's been all doing. So it's like... Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to hold you. I feel like uh, Russell skedaddled like a decade ago at this point. He's been gone for a minute. So <laughs> They're yeah. going to try to get him for a while. One but way or the one other. Of the women I think, one of the women I think that is uh, suing him is in the Freaknik documentary. Okay. Yeah. So one way or the other, if it you know, seems you know. like uh, Russell Simmons will be held accountable either financially or otherwise. So we will see mm-hmm. how that story plays uh, out. Uh, last one we have is sort Girl. of a funny story. <laughs> so let me tell you something. I love flies. Okay. He Give a bit of background. Give a bit of background. <laughs> I saw the so clip. this yeah. past week, uh, Plaz posted up a still image on his uh, Instagram of him and this fan on stage, and he's like rapping and like full on into the moment, and she runs up there, pulls up the shirt, full on boobs to the world, but like I think that he thought it was a guy. So mm-hmm. he wasn't, it wasn't really clicking to him that this is a woman on the stage until he, I, until shout out to <laughs> Boomerang telling my age where homeboy was like, oh, that's a nipple. <laughs> ah, uh, that's a nipple. My I know first it, that's a nipple. The, my first reaction to the video was like, was it a pride of it? Because it looked like the, Child. it was a more masculine presenting woman. Yes. But like, I listen. What I saw, I didn't see the video. I just saw the still image. I was confused too until I was like, "No, that's that's nip, that's breastfeeding type nipples." That's for you, but y'all can see it on his timeline. Yeah, if Instagram ain't snatch it down because that's the other thing that I was so confused about. It's full on titty to the camera, and they did not snatch that down. Mm-mm. No, they did not. So anyway, what's going on in the in the world? Let us know what we missed down in the comments. Uh, <laughs> let us know if you've got new diddy information because it seems like everybody else does so <laughs> where's our friend with the uh with the pace information yes tc girl if you got to the end of this tc hit us up on the on the with the detail <laughs> give us give us the tea sis all right Bye. in the meantime like comment subscribe and we will catch you in our next video bye guys bye, friends. Bye, friends.